Now I'd like for you to do some practice problems dealing with perimeter. The first problem says to find the perimeter of an isosceles triangle with equal sides 7 yards and the third side 15 yards. And then the second problem says find the perimeter of a square with a side 5 feet 3 inches. Will make your problems easier if you'll draw pictures of these figures, then find the perimeter. After you copy the problems down, cut the tape off and work your problems. Then cut them back on to check your answers. The answer is to the practice problems. The first one is 29 yards. The second one is 21 feet. Make sure you put the unit of measurement with your answer. We've just been working with finding the perimeter of figures. Now we're getting ready to find the area of some polygons. When you're dealing with area, you're interested in the inside of the figure. Area of a polygon is the amount of surface within the figure. Area is always expressed in square units. We will be using formulas to find the areas of polygons. But before I actually give you a lot of formulas, what we're going to do is try to discover where the formula comes from and then we'll use the formula in finding areas. So let's begin by looking at a polygon. The one that we're going to look with first of all, look at first of all, is going to be a rectangle. This particular rectangle is 4 inches by 3 inches. That means its length is 4 inches and its width is 3 inches. Now, what, to find the area, I'm interested in the inside of the figure. Perimeter was the distance around the outside. But the area is the inside, and I'm interested in square units. So if I want to find the area of this rectangle, I really want to know how many little square inches would fill up the figure. How many little inches are in, how many little squares that are in, an inch by an inch are inside that figure? Well, because this one is just 4 inches by 3 inches, I pick something that I can actually measure and find out. So we're going to do this to help us figure out our formula. So my length was 4 inches. I'm going to mark off 4 inches. These are the 4 inches across the bottom. And my width was 3 inches. I'm going to mark off the 3 inches going up. So you can see the 4 inches across and the 3 inches up. Now, what I'm going to actually do is draw in. It will help me if I mark it across the top too and across the other side. So let me do that. I'm going to use my ruler and mark off the 4 inches. I'm also going to mark off 4 inches coming down and a little bit. So it's 3 inches coming down. You can see my 3 inches. Now, if I actually draw in these little squares that are an inch by an inch, I can find out what my area is. So let me, let's do that. So I'm going I don't think my markings were perfect here, but we can still count our squares. Okay, I've marked. So I'm going to go across this way and okay, so you can see my 4 inches going across and my 3 inches coming up. So 
here four inches for the length and three inches for the width. Now, to find the area, what I want to do is to count and see how many little squares I have in my figure. So if I count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 little squares, or 12 little square inches, because each one of those little squares is 1 inch by 1 inch. So the area of that polygon is 12 square inches. Or, you also sometimes see it written 12 inches with the little 2 which is an exponent raised there, and that's read, also read 12 square inches, or 12 inches squared. So when you're finding the area, you need to not to forget to put square inches, or square whatever unit you're working with, or either put the inches with a little two up there. Because when you're doing area, you're, working, you're, you're really splitting your figure up into little squares. Now, there would often be times in which we'd want to find the area of something and we wouldn't have time to split our figure up into little squares. So it would be nice to have a formula to use so we could just do the, do the formula and not split the figure up into squares. So if you look at this particular figure, this rectangle, and the formula we're going to get is just a special formula for a rectangle, you should see that we can get our 12 another way. If you think about it a minute, you'll notice that we could get our 12 just by multiplying 4 times 3. So when you have a rectangle, if you'll multiply your length, in this case 4, by your width, 3, you would have come up with that 12. And that's our formula for the area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. Or you can just say A equals to LW. So we're going to use the formula A equals to LW anytime we want to find an area of a rectangle. So we're not going to anymore break it up into little squares. We would just multiply our length by our width to get our area. Now don't forget that when you're doing area, you need to put the word square inches or write your unit with a little square up here to tell what, what actually is happening when you find the area. Now let's work with finding the area of a square. This particular square has each side 3 inches. And now if we were going to find its perimeter, we'd be interested in the distance all the way around. But we want to find the area, so we want to split it up into little inch squares and figure out how many of those fill it up. Now, we can actually, without measuring or anything, do it the same way we did the area of a rectangle and just multiply our length by our width and that will give us the area of this square. So we can say 3 times 3 and get 9. And so it means we have 9 of those little squares inside the figure. So the area would be 9 square inches, or, or you'd write it 9 inches square. So the area is 9 square inches. Now I want to go back and see the figure up here. So let me just write down here. Let's, we'll just write over here our area is 9 square inches. And we got that by saying 3 times 3. Now, since you always have your sides the same length in a square, you can, instead of thinking of it as length times width, if you prefer, you can think of it as saying just the area of a square is side times side. You can just multiply side by side instead of length times width, if you'd like, and get your get your 9. So the area is side times side. That's the same as length times width. Don't forget to write square inches because that means you'd have that many little squares in 